Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Juicy Loops Gaming. Today we're going to be playing GTA 5 Roleplay with the LSPDFR mod in um, 5M on the Blue Line Brotherhood server. In case you don't know how to play, I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of how to create your uh, character and how to get a police car, how to pull people over, stuff like that. Alright, so if you'll take a look here, if you click the M button, you can go down to um, player related options and go to player options. Sorry, you go down to MP PED customization. And then you create your character from there, go into create male or female character, and then you can kind of create, switch through the different type of uniforms, stuff like that. Um, and then you'll want to click save on there. And I already have a couple people saved, so I'm just going to go ahead and spawn one of my uh, police guys here, just to give you guys kind of an idea of what they look like. So here's one of my police officers, um, one of my sheriffs, here's one of my sheriff guys, uh, and then I'll show you one of my my state trooper as well. This is my straight state trooper uniform. My favorite police uniform is definitely this one. It's got the body cam and everything. That guy just punched me. It's got the medic pack on the side, the taser, and then you can have the badge hanging down as well. Um, see if I get a closer view here for you guys. So you got the med pack, the police stitch on the side, the taser, the badge, um, the body cam, the radio, all that good stuff. So that's kind of cool, a cool feature right there. And then once you go in and um, spawn your character, make your character, you're gonna want to go to um, click Z on your keyboard, and then you're want to you're gonna want to go on duty. And there are specific rules that you're going to want to follow in the server. Uh, the admins watch it pretty seriously. And you want to follow their rules anyway. Um, so what you're going to do is go into um, go to this blue blip over here. And you're going to click the E button. Then you're going to spawn which vehicle you want. This time around I'm going to go with the Victoria, the Crown Vic. And what I always do after I get my vehicle is I click M. I go into vehicle related options and then I click uh, personal vehicle and I switch to the Ford uh, make sure I click exclusive driver and add blip for personal vehicle and then I also lock the vehicle doors so you can unlock them and, un and lock them from the outside by double clicking E so we're gonna go ahead and lock the doors and we're gonna go ahead and start on patrol so if you want to use your lights on this one um, all you gotta do is click Q and your lights will turn on and for me on my screen, if you click the, on my keyboard, if you click the comma button, that's what turns the sirens on and off. And then if you hold down R, you can also use the sirens as well. So if you click the comma button, turn on your sirens, and then you click R as it's on, it'll switch between three different sirens. So you got the three there. This one, this one here, and then this one. So if you want to turn the lights and sirens back off, you just click the Q button and it shuts right off for you. Now if you want to honk your horn while you're in a police vehicle, you just hold down E. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, pull people over, how to stop civs, all that fun stuff. So let's see what we got going on here. Just going to do a little bit of patrol. One more thing I want to show you guys before I head out. Um, in addition to the personal vehicle section that I set up, I also go to vehicle options and I go down to mod menu. Um, you don't want to have turbo because obviously police cars don't have turbo. So, but I do put on the bulletproof tires and I do the custom wheels because most police vehicles have that. You can't have any neon lights underneath the vehicle or anything like that. Um, see, in here too, you can also mess. You can open the doors, open the windows, close the doors all that good stuff. I also turn the engine always on that way when I stop a vehicle and if we're in the nighttime uh, the lights on the front stay on. And then I also go down to uh, vehicle extras. And I usually turn all these on here because I like the extras on the back and the front and this will turn on uh, your your um, mirrors, your rear view mirror lights and stuff like that. It'll put a cage on the front of it and also um, the radar things on the back. So you can't use speed radar until you become a member of the server and you're also only limited to three different types of vehicles. But that's okay, we have a lot of fun with those vehicles and uh, as long as you follow the rules and you know listen to the 
admins and, and if members have any um, suggestions, as long as you listen to them and you know you're you play well on the server for a while, you'll eventually get added as a member. Don't you, what you don't want to do is ask to be a member. That's how you're not going to be able to be become a member. Um, so you just kind of want to wait, make sure they take notice of you. Maybe ask for a couple ride-alongs uh, in the meantime, and then um, kind of learn as you go along. So we're going to start on patrol here. Uh, one more thing that I forgot to show you guys. I always go into miscellaneous settings, and luckily my computer can handle it. I go into location display, and I put showtime on screen. That way when I write up a re re an arrest report, it's already down there for me. And I can just refer right next to the map, and it'll show me what I need to do, uh, what I need to write in order to say where I pulled someone over, which way I was headed, and what time it is. Just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching our episodes. If you haven't hit the like button, make sure you do, and make sure you hit subscribe. If you don't like the videos, make sure you leave a dislike button and you leave a comment down below on why you don't like it. If you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave those comments below as well and I'd be happy to um, make sure that you guys get what content you're looking for and um, you know maybe you could teach me a few things if there's something that I already don't know. I'd be happy to learn some more stuff. Now, if you want to use your turn signal on here, mine are the plus and minus buttons right next to the backspace. So the right turn signal is plus, and the left turn signal is minus. Now for my blinkers, um, they're one of these. What I usually do to turn on my blinkers is I just scroll up with my mouse, and that turns on my blinkers. I don't use a controller to play on here. I should because it would make it a little bit easier as far as speeding up and slowing down, but... I just haven't had time to plug in my wireless or my wired controller and use it yet. So we're just playing with the classic keyboard and mouse here. So if you notice, I'm kind of swaying back and forth a little bit. I try to get it as straight as possible, but it's kind of hard without a controller. So I'll go ahead and take a right here. And what's nice about the turn signals is. Um, the admin when they wrote created the script they made sure that when you turn the turn signal go ahead and goes ahead and shuts off you don't have to hit it again to shut it off now with the crown vic you can't customize your license plate but it will let you with the explorer and i'll go through the different vehicles um We'll maybe get one, a couple people pulled over, one vehicle, one civ, and then I'll show you guys the other vehicles on here. Or we'll do that on a different episode. Looks like this guy's trying to cut right in front of me. So when you're in your police vehicle, you can click Y, and that'll bring up your computer on the inside. You're going to want to click this right here, the ABC123 license. And that's going to pop up your automatic um, license plate reader. Run through that light, I guess. I didn't mean to. Looks like we got a panic button issued. So I'm going to go here, figure out what's going on with this panic button. Looks like it's down at Grove Street, so I'm going to see what's going on there. Turn on our lights, turn on our sirens, we're full speed ahead. I'm going to be adding some more Minecraft videos here in a couple days. Um, so make sure you guys are on the lookout for my, my videos. I'm trying to get a new software set up so that I can add in intros and endings and stuff like that, and countdowns. But right now we're just going with the basic... Uh, voice recording with the game. We're going to see what's going on down here. It looks like it's in Grove Street, so... I do hear shots going off.
I don't see where he's at. I see the shots coming from somewhere. Oh, he's up on that roof. Oh, they're coming from all ways here. <laughs> 